What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Rose. It's been a little bit of a minute since I made a video, but there's been a lot of talk about Mike Tyson's comeback, which is really not a comeback. I hope it's not. I hope it's only for exhibition matches, which I don't really have a problem with because there's a lot of protective gear, hate gear and stuff like that. And it's only like three rounds. But, uh, you know, you have some people who really believe that, you know, if he looks good in the expedition fights, that he can potentially come back and fight professionally in a professional fight against one of these guys. And people are talking about that they think he can beat some of these guys out here. And it's just not going to happen, man. Uh, Mike Tyson should not try to fight professionally again. Okay, when he was closer to being more active, the last time we seen him almost two decades ago, he got beat by somebody he shouldn't have gotten beat by. Okay, we already saw that he didn't have it anymore. What made Mike Tyson, but besides his speed and his power and his aggression, what really made him dangerous was his mindset. Okay, and we saw in his last few fights, you know, especially his last fight where he retired, he said that he just didn't have that killer instinct anymore. He, he didn't have the desire to hurt anybody anymore. And I think that he's even more like that now than he was back then. So I don't think it's a good idea for him to uh, think about coming back professionally. Like I say, the expedition stuff, I mean, we're all interested in that because it's Mike Tyson, of course. But even that, man, I mean, I'm just not interested in watching senior citizens fight, okay? I'm not interested in um, him fighting Holyfield. I saw that sad training video of Evander Holyfield, and you could just tell, like, he doesn't need to be doing this shit, man. He's four years older than Mike Tyson, right? He's damn near 60 years old. What do you have to gain from doing this? You know, and, you know, I feel bad for these guys because they gave so much to the sport. These guys are Hall of Famers. They're legends. And this is what they have to do to make money right now. You know, they should already be set for life. man. They shouldn't have to do shit like this or even think about doing this. But this is what it's come down to for them, man. You know, and that's why on the business side of things, you got to give a guy like Floyd Mayweather his props on the business side of things. Because if he has to do this later on in life, it's just because of his spending habits, which, you know, that's going to be him bringing that on himself. He's made a lot of money to where he doesn't have to ever fight again. You know what I'm saying? But I don't even think that's going to happen to him. And I, I think he has enough money to last him the rest of his life. And it's just a shame that legends like Holyfield and Tyson uh, even guys like James Tony would even have to consider coming back to do this. You know, and you know what's going to happen. Roy is going to pop back out again. You know what I mean? And then B-Hop is talking about he can come back and get another one. I mean, this could cause a fucking domino effect. You know, and then we're going to have full-blown senior citizens boxing tournaments happening and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not interested in it, man. I don't want to see any of these guys take any permanent damage. Uh, boxing is a young man sport. You can even get hurt in these expedition fights. And, um, you know, I don't care how Mike Tyson looks hitting mitts. I don't care how he looks doing that, okay? Now, they're talking about he still looks good. He still looks strong. He still looks explosive. But, you know, here's the thing. Mike is going to look like that for a long time, man, okay? He's always been a freak of nature genetically, all right. Look at the motherfucker when he was like 15 years old. OK, he looked like a grown ass fucking man already who had been doing steroids his entire life. And he just looked like that naturally. OK, he's always going to look like that, man. Even when he's out of shape, he just looks like a big, scary motherfucker, man. All right. That doesn't mean that he should be fighting. All right. I'm not trying to kill anybody's excitement. Like I say, if it's the expedition fight, I don't mind watching it, man. It's Mike Tyson. I'm not interested in Holyfield. I'm not interested in James Tony. He's talking about he wants to get in. I'm, I'm not interested in it. I don't want to see Roy come back and do anything or any of these other guys, man. You know, are, are we this bored, man? Like, I understand the COVID and the lockdown and all that, and there hasn't been any live fucking boxing events. And, you know, this is just something to talk about, but I just can't take this serious, man. And people need to realize that uh, Mike Tyson is only hitting mitts, man. 
That's all he's doing right now. Okay, anybody can look amazing hitting some damn mitts. Okay, it's a different ball game when you have somebody in front of you who's younger than you and who has the ability to fucking hurt you, man. You know, I don't think he should be doing any of the bare knuckle stuff. I just, unless it's somebody his own age, then, you know, he would be at an advantage because the motherfucker's a beast for his age compared to the, the average person that age. But as far as him, like, fighting somebody younger, I, you know, I just don't advise him to do that, man, in a bare-knuckle event. Guy is in his 50s, man. I mean, let's be realistic here. But anyway, you guys let me know what you guys think about it. It's your boy, Rose. I'm out.